Thanks for staying with us. So yesterday, Vice President Yemi, Professor Yemi Ashimbaji declared his intention to run for the office of president in 2023 general elections. During his declaration speech, he made many promises to Nigerians, which he promised he would fulfill if allowed to lead the country. However, some Nigerians are reacting to this, saying he failed as a vice president. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Is he competent enough to take on this role? You can call us on the numbers available, 0812 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Okay, so since yesterday, everybody's been talking about different angles. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's an angle of, oh, he's been in the system. There's an angle of he betrayed his, his, um, his godfather or his principal. There's another angle of he doesn't have the political structure. Others are saying that... Um, they observed that he's only anchoring on President Muhammad Buhari. Because if you recall, during the convention, he kept referencing the good works of Buhari, the good of President Buhari, his leader, his this. He came back, even in the speech, the declaration speech, almost every other sentence was praising the, the current administration. You're thinking, okay, so this man is your, he's obviously a life support in this campaign. <laughs> so but what are your thoughts on this, um, on his declaration? And do you think that... Um, is, is, do you agree with those who are saying that he may have betrayed his, um, his godfather or his, or his principal, the person who even orchestrated his being the vice president? Okay. It's okay. Um, I remember the colloquium that we attended years back. Um, I think before he was vice president. Was he vice president then? I think it was before. I think I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe it was before or when he was vice president. And I heard um, Professor Yemi Oshibaju speak about how he was a professor in school and how while he was in school, having no connection to um, Ashiwaju, Ashiwaju said he was looking for competent hands to chart the course for Lagos State and mm. implement the vision he had for Lagos State and called him and sold the idea to him and he stepped out of being a professor to join the then administration of um, Ashiwaju Bola Betinubu for Lagos State and how he extols the leadership of um, Ashiwaju and obviously that's someone who respects his principle. Um, for many, pre this election, I've been hearing a lot of clamor saying that no, he will not contest, he cannot do this against his principle, has already declared. And I was of the opinion that a uh, vice president is too loyal, he will not come out and declare without maybe like um, Ashwaju raising his hand. Hmm. So politics <clears throat> has happened, and I was shocked, I must admit. When I heard it, I said, it's a lie. You really said, there's a video. With his mouth. That was with, with his mouth. With his mouth. I was like, no, I cannot believe this. So I'm one of those that felt like, no, this, 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 somehow. But is it his constitutional right to do so? Obviously, yes, it is. It's, it's yeah. legally, he has a right, right. to go, um, to go, to go through his, his aspiration. He's a Nigerian. He's a man I respect. He's a mm. man that I feel has the competence to lead our country mm. as well, amongst <clears> the many who have declared. And I feel we should, he's throwing himself into the ring. The question is, do I, did I feel funny about the loyalty and all of that with those that felt that way? I agree. Mm, I sure. felt a bit uncomfortable okay. with the fact that he declared the way he did, knowing I mean, that his principle was already okay. in the ring. So for me, um, loyalty wasn't what I was looking at. I'm mm. looking at the fact that we have a problem in the country mm. and we need competent hands to take us out of the quagmire that's is bedeviling everything and everyone right. in the country. Agreed. So it's not about, uh, because what I see with politicians is the fact that everybody wants to be loyal to my sponsor, loyal to my godfather, politics of godfatherism. If they say, no, don't, don't come out, it's not mm -hmm. your time, allow me first, then I will hand you some crumbs later on. And everybody just sits down. We need Nigerians who will say, I can fix this problem identify problems and say, I can do this, I can do that in my capacity. I have, I have a track record. I have done this, I've done that. A lot of people also questioned and said ah, that he's, um, he's, uh, it was more like him reading out his CV. You know, he kept mentioning this, that, that, that he did not tell us exactly what he wants to do, how he wants to do it. We've had people who told us exactly what they wanted to do, how they wanted to do it, and today they have not done it. So for me, it's about looking at the 
action more than the words. Mm. This man has been in this position, and people who say he has failed as vice president, I think that is very unfair to him. You cannot usurp the power of your president. Mm. You have to take orders. You have to. You are working. There's a captain. There's a co-captain. You must work in that order. The few times that the president was not around and he took over, we saw things. Things moved. Once. We saw action. Yeah. Sharp, sharp, sharp. And we know that this man can hold his own right. when given that some, opportunity. Some might argue that he was also practically in charge of the economy. And mm. they, can, they can argue that we've seen how trader money went up because people are still arguing and saying that how successful was trader money? You know, mm. how, how has it really championed the, um, the lifting of our economy to be more profitable for Nigerians? Those are questions I'm still asking. Well, but you're right. You can't, you can't do past what the you president instructs you. So, yeah. yes, there's so much, only so much he could do. But, Mike, let me come. What, what are your initial thoughts on this? What, what, what came to uh, mind when he You see, I was one of those arguing vehemently, like, like, like <laughs> they, he can't come out. Like they, he can <laughs> never come out. Ah, when his organ has come out, like they, ah. You see, when he, he are not like this, I see, really. <laughs> everybody rock a leg. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody rock a leg. <laughs> practically, <laughs> everybody rock a leg. Because they were shocked. You know how you want to hide yourself? Weak. Because mm. I, I see, even here, I argue. I'm it's arguing only... For you to now see the video of him speaking himself. <laughs> By himself. Mm. Not that well, Mikey, there's an angle that we've not talked about. Because Ashwajo met with 16 governors. Yeah. Now, there's something about loyalty. If one person can come across as disloyal to, he, to somebody who, was, who practically raised him and brought him into politics, do you think the governors can trust him? Because he, he approached about 10 governors and tell them, told them that I would like to, during, during the break of their fast, mm -hmm. and appeal told them that, listen, I'm trying to run for president, I need your support. Mm -hmm. So can these governors trust a vice president who in himself has been disloyal to one of the key people, people expected him not to be disloyal to, can they trust him if he becomes president, so, indeed, to do what he says he will do for them so, or for their states so Mariah, when, they, when he becomes president? So, Moraya, we're ah. judging loyalty. We're judging loyalty based on his declaration for presidency. I don't think that's a fair way to judge. Okay. I was shocked by his declaration. I do not judge him as a disloyal person okay. because I do not know the private conversation he, he and his principles must have had, because the conversation of him contesting had been on since last year. Yeah. But posters had been on everywhere, and he refrained from coming out. So, because I do not know the private dealings, so I, we, we, we shouldn't do lip service or use me, social media to judge the loyalty of one person. That's my first opinion. Mm. On the other hand is the fact that we've seen, we over, over many um, Ashiwaju Bola Metibu has gone through a lot of political turmoil in the past few years. Like, there's been a lot that's happened to him politically, and some people have kept mute, <coughs> deliberately kept mute in a way that it looks politically shady. And this particular VP has maintained a good relationship consistently with, the, um, with, right. with his principal. So I'm not, going to judge, um, I'm not going to judge loyalty until I hear clearly from um, Ashiwaju Bola Metibu mm. that. This but person has betrayed some points, me. Yeah. I will not do anything with him again. There are some things we need to change if mm. Nigeria has to move forward. Loyalty to who? To your mm. principal or to the interest of the country that mm. you are there to serve? Who mm. are you loyal to? It's not see, It's not to anybody's father's house that will now be sharing. You come out today. You wait tomorrow. <laughs> well, and I'll give you this. Mm. <laughs> we need to come out of it. And that's why we're saying we need a lot of new people, young people who do not have that mindset of I have to constantly wait on somebody else to hand me the cake or say go or wait or stay back. We need to move out of that and move into the fact that we need to take Nigeria mm. forward. It seems like we go yeah, one step forward, 15 steps backwards. We can't keep Obviously. doing this. So we're not lo this is not loyalty for me. If you're competent enough and you come out there, forget it. Mm. We're going to be behind Obviously. you. It's not even we need to take Nigeria forward. We need to take Nigeria back from them. <laughs> <laughs> Give us Nigeria. Mm. True. You people, sit down. You have had your turn. Mm. You let new people come in. Yeah. And let us see. Fresh minds. Fresh minds. Fresh, but, 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 fresh body. But, but don't we celebrate? But bodies? shouldn't we yes. celebrate that there's democracy happening in APC? At least we're seeing that everybody seems People to be coming, coming forward. Yes. So, the, so if we're, if we're saying that democracy is not working. Maybe this is another indication. That, listen, let's let let let. let, let but if for I, me to join APC, okay, no, 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 okay, please declare. We'll, we'll happen <laughs> to. to go join but APC I think and declare. this this is also the demonstration that democracy is working within the party. Mm. Now, it's the, the onus is now on the chairman of the NWC mm. to ensure that proper internal democracy is done yes. to, to get that final ticket. Because, yeah. because if indeed Ashiwaji is a progressive, as he, as he has always shown he is, 
if it, there's a point where Ashwa do now discuss, okay, well, let us look at this thing together. Mm -hmm. Because and we many believe he's a progressive. Yeah. He will do the needful. Yeah. Whatever the needful is, we don't know. Whether mm -hmm. I step down or not. We'll, we'll, whenever that time comes, he will do. But because he's, his actually his interest is in Nigeria, not so much of his personal. Yes, he says his personal ambition. But if we see him as a progressive, mm -hmm. then we can say, okay, let, let let's put the chips are down. Mm -hmm. Let's who are when we who, who are we going to pick? But wow. my, oh, my only it's, worry, my only worry is the fact that. This is going to throw off a lot of political calculations, and as people in, are just are just confused at this time. In, you know, they're not sure where for? to go. We, you know, there's a, a lot of confusion. The, I, I feel that um, um, Ashwaja has put this ambition on the. It's it's an ambition. It's a it's a long term ambition. It's similar to the way our current president had always wanted to become the president. It's similar to Atiku's um, obvious ambition for that seat. So, at the end of the day. You know, as a Nigerian feeling the pinch of a uh, collapsing economy, lack of the security, hardships. the hardship, the inflation, I really don't want politics as much as I want competent hands to manage the affairs of this country that mm -hmm. would move, someone whose heart would truly move Nigeria. Now, let's forward. talk about competence for a moment. So, let's put, let's pack loyalty. Mm -hmm. But don't we're talking about loyalty. Okay. Competence. Now, some may argue that. The, the current vice president may not have the stamina, the structure, or even the ability to reach certain areas. Although he said it in his speech that he has been to every single local government within the country. Mm. So Going there doesn't, doesn't make you connect the, or necessarily. So some might argue that, does, wait, does he have the competence? Yes, maybe book-wise. Maybe that's why Ashwaju brought him in the first place, because mm. he's smart, he's a professor, he's intelligent, definitely. But when it comes to strategy, when it comes to um, understanding what to do to bring Nigeria out of this uh, hole that we're in, is he the political, is he the, is he the right person that can actually bring Nigeria? We'll discuss mm. that after this break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. I Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So before the break, we're talking about capacity, um, competence. So we discussed the the, uh, the vice president's competence versus um, Ashiwaju's because many of us know how Ashiwaju took Lagos State from where it was before to where it is today. Because even the blue, the the uh, I was I was even reading the other time that the. Um, you see the rail, the blue, blue line, the, the, the Aqua all, Atlantic. These are all documented since Ashiwaju step. This is somebody he has seen 25 years ahead during this period. Mm. So we have seen his track record, taken from revenue 600 million to 10 billion within his own period. Now Lagos is earning almost 40 billion a month based on a blueprint somebody. So we have seen competence. Mm. Now, this is somebody who has worked under Buhari's government that many have said that they didn't allow this man to fly. Mm. So we didn't see you really fly. So how can we now believe indeed that you can actually take this whole country out of what it is today? But, but in fairness to him, I think that time he was allowed to run the government for a few, a few weeks. weeks. Was it like three months? Yes. Just that one time. Yes. People saw a change. Yeah, we saw it. It was different. It was different. Yeah. And when his principle, that's his principle, not... Not that sure, Julius. Yes. Uh, that yes. is his real principle, yeah. came back. They just overturned a lot of what he did, mm. and just it seemed to, to us that he was now. Um, so, he, so, so, so if, he's, yeah. if a VP is coward, then with the presidency, because this cabal, this strong cabal, mm. with the, how if they were able to cower him as a VP. Do you think he, they, they, they will still won't have that kind of influence? Would they, do you think he'll be strong enough, therefore, to, to run this, com this country, this even with this cabal that, well, is, that as, we as all don't even know who this cabal is? He should, if he, if exactly. he was president. Yeah. Because he could, as vice president at that time, he hasn't been able to, we haven't really seen his magic. After that one After time. that first because seven years ago. wings. <laughs> uh, yes, no. <laughs> so, so I don't know whether he has got to repair the wing. No, no, no. no, no. But, he, <laughs> but okay, let, me let, let, let me say that um, when it comes to politics, eh, you can look at the track record of certain people, but aside from the track record, I think it's your ability to take the pulse of the people mm. is what we should be looking out for. Your ability to listen to the needs. Of, you know, what we hear most of the time, what we see is more table table achievements. We've done this, we've done that, we've done this. Documented. 
But when you ask the people, how has this documentation, how has this table, you know, progress, how has it affected you personally as a businessman, as a student? As, uh, we need to take the pulse of the zoo. people and we need to be looking at the person who seems to be able to listen. It's all about listening. Listen to the people and say, okay, these policies that we have on ground, they are not working for our people. Why don't we change it? How do we find those people who can listen? It's not about the track record of what you have done in the past. It's about are you willing to listen to the cries of that little child who is out of school for years and has no hope for tomorrow? So if, do if, you if, listen? if, if, if Ashish Raja has listened, would he therefore say that he will continue what Buhari has started? Because that's mm. what people are saying. People are saying, ah, uncle... What has Buhari done so far? Because yes, we that see, you want we, to we know he has invested in infrastructure, he has invested in agriculture, but the average Nigerian on the street is saying, ah, this Buhari government hasn't really done much. Yeah. So if you now come and declare and say, I will continue for me, uh, what you're telling Nigerians, they are, this, so, this Nepal battle will continue, we continue. for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of the vice president. I love I the way too. he speaks. Yeah. You know, I, I, mean, I, I thought his speech was brilliant. Oh, no, I, I, what I, I mean, and, and I great. feel that great. many like I think he has watched Obama's videos back to back. Like he has. No, 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 I know. I know. Of course. Of course. What, what I, you, I just, what I, what I, I, I like his charisma. Yeah. I like the fact that he can engender hope in Nigerians. Mm. And one of the things that is lost, seemingly, we don't need hope. No, we need action. Yes, we need action, but we also need hope. Many, the, the, before it was the poor that was checking out, the hopeless checking out. Now the middle class, the rich checking, uh, checking out, out of the country. Yes. We have a huge crisis on mm. our hands. Right. We need action as well as someone that would inspire hope mm. in Nigeria to continue and pushing. And be soothing. Right. Be soothing. Yeah. When right, we speak, have to wrap up on this. I think for, so, for, as I, as I hmm. wrap up on this segment, I think what's most important is that um, Adamu, the new NWS, WC chairman, ensures that there's internal democracy to yes. carry let the vote let, the, let, the, let, the, let there be primaries. Let there be proper primaries where people select who the uh, candidates would be for this party so that we know for APC and also for PDP. Yeah. Let us see internal democracy across the party so that at the end of May, hopefully by then, we'll know who they will give us the best. And they just don't try our Igbo president for once. Mm. They've been, Wiki has been telling them. Wiki is also, mm. also contending. So we'll see. That is my... We don't can. please. Peter Obi as yeah. well. Mm. I love Peter Obi. Mm. Peter Obi is also really in Benzo. Really okay, yeah. I mean, they are... Let, let's just even try it for yes. once. Let's mm. see. Let's see Ibo Abin. There you have it. That's all we can take on this segment. We wish all the parties the best luck as they go ahead. We wish let's go to a break. When we come back, the health sector in Lagos State. Hmm. That's a crucial matter. Those of you that have gone to hospital and they are sending you back for one thing or the other, we have the Honorable Commissioner himself in the building. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.